In this video, I'd like to look at a four bit ripple adder. So that's the circuit I'm shown here that I'm simulating in National Instrument Multi Sim. So we have a, these little boxes are a full adder that can be found under the NIST digital uh, and then come down to uh, the F for. Uh, Full adder, there it is. And this is in the in one of the positions we have things like a positional a weighting. And so in one of the positions, that's let's pretend it's the two's place, uh, we will be adding the two's place of a number called A and the two's place of a number called B. And we'll be adding them together. And there might be some carry from in that case the one's place. And then we would have the sum, the answer, that we would be the, the two's place for the answer. And then we might possibly carry over to the four's place. So that's what this uh, full adder does. It's it's one of the positions within the positional weighting of the binary number. I'm going to grab a little uh, snip of the thing so I can sort of write on top of it. So now we see with this orange, the way the orange is working, I have four full adders. And the way the orange is working, I can see that this carry out is becoming the next one's carry in. And so that makes this the one's place and the two's place and the four and the eight's place. I can tell that by the carry. The, ca the logic of the carry determines the, the, the position, the weight of the position one, two, four, and eight's place. And then we have uh, the sum going out to this display and the uh, one's place going on when you go out to the display is on the right. So this is the one's place here, one's place. And then we have the two and the four and then the eights place on this side. So that is the one, two, four, eights place. That's the how the display works. And the same thing here is these uh, purple wires are coming from the switches and they're all going into the A's of the full adders. So this number here is, is A and this number down here is B and this is going into the ones place. So this makes it the ones place of A and it is being displayed here. So this this is the A display. And again, we're respecting that the on the right is the ones place and on the left is the eights place. And the B is the green wires are B and now so this will be the display for B. So this will be A plus B will equal sum sum. Okay, so that was me just drawing on top of it. Here's the real thing. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. Let's say I want to add something simple like three plus four, and then I just find the number. So I'm just going to use the calculator to make life easy. So here is my three I want to represent, and that will be low, low, high, high going from this is the eighth place, four's place, two's place, one's place. So it will be two, uh, zero is the one's place. So I want a one in the one's place and a two, a one in the two's place, which will give me three. And then if I'm adding that to four, that is a one of the fours place and a zero other place else. So that would be down here. D is the eight, four is D is the eights place, C is the fours place, B is the twos place, and A is the ones place. So if I click on C, so there's my three A, the purple wires were A, the switch is one, one, zero, one, two, three. They are the A. They are set up to give me a three. Down here, the A, B, C, D, they are the B number, and they are set up to have four. That three and four are being added and being displayed here. 
So these are four bit numbers. I'm going to, and I only have addition here. So I'm going to assume for now that my, that my numbers that I'm representing are unsigned or positive only numbers. And if I have four bit positive only numbers, then my range of numbers goes from zero to 15, which in hexadecimal will be represented by an F. And if I exceed that range, I would like to know that. I would like to, to indicate that some overflow occurred. And so I'm going to add to this a simple little uh, overflow indicator. I'm going to get myself a probe, uh, let's say an orange probe. If I attach that orange probe down here to this carry out, so if the eights place carries out, that would go to the 16. So if I get 16 or higher, then I would get a carry out to the 16th place, but there is no 16th place. So that will instead serve as my indicator that I've left the range of numbers I can represent. It will indicate overflow. Let me turn it back on and let me add, I think, uh, let's say nine and eight. And that will give me 17 and be over the 16 and uh, indicate uh, overflow. So my nine is 1001. So I want to make my uh, A number here. So I'm going to take the one down and the three up. So this is 1001, which is my nine. And then I wanted uh, for the B number, I wanted eight. So I'm going to take C down and B up. There is my eight, and I'm adding nine and eight, which will get me 17. Uh, I've exceeded my base of 16 by one, so that's what's displaying the one. And here is the what would be if I had more digits, more digits, more places uh, to carry out to the 16th place. But because I'm done, and this is all I can represent, it, it is instead an indication that my operation ended up in overflow. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. Thanks, Ma.